Hello everybody, it's Diane. I am going to be working on my um, the vintage journals that I showed you in the last couple of videos. I've got pages cut and ready to go. In the Bluebird, this book, it's more vintage looking. I'm using coffee dyed paper. And in the other book, which I don't have right handy, that it's not so vintage looking. It is a vintage book, but it's not that old and it has brighter colors. So I'm using papers that aren't copy dyed. But I am going to make a little tuck spot and I've got all of my pieces prepped. So what I have done is I've taken a piece of cardstock, like a patterned cardstock, and it either has a grid or ledger design on it and I punched a hole in the corner. I rounded one corner and punched a hole in it and put a reinforcement on it. And I'm going to embellish with some little strips of paper and one of the cards that I printed, one of the Mrs. Coggs images that will be used in the book and then just a vintage ticket. So I'm just gonna start sewing. I'm going to sew, I have two strips on this one, so I'm going to sew right down the center and get those with a zigzag stitch and get those um, stuck to the paper. it up and I don't need to go down this side because this this side will be stitched to the book and now I will simply sew on the image that I selected um, that is Anne and probably Gilbert I'm sure from one of the Anne of Green Gables books uh, and I rounded the corners. And I think I'll just do a straight stitch for this. Kind of messy. I'm not doing the corners extremely carefully. it twice. I always like to do that when I'm doing it, uh, doing a messy look so it looks intentional and not like, man, she just, she can't sew a straight line. And of course, you could glue these on rather than sew. And I'll just stick this little vintage milk ticket for skim milk. I bought those tickets from Nancy at Wishes and Weeds. She finds some pretty awesome vintage items. And sells them very reasonably in her shop. Of course, they're long gone. I bought them a while ago, so they're not in the shop anymore. I don't know what she has in her shop right now. I know she has some stuff. Wishes and weeds. Okay. 
This is kind of in my way, but I've got my little short drawer unit there holding my desk lamp. I didn't have my needle down in the paper when I picked up the foot, so. Okay, so that is attached. It's all decorated and attached, and it will have one of the larger tags or cards tucked inside it. <laughs> Her eyes are peeking out there. So now let's do one from the other book. For this book I'm using also Mrs. Cog's images, but they're the vintage children's magazine covers. So for this one, I left the tag intact. This is how it prints. It has the title of the magazine on there. And for the other two, well this one, I cut the pocket shorter. So I cut off the magazine title and then kind of trimmed around it. And I also did that for this one. So you don't have to, you know, leave them the way they are. You can trim them to suit your purposes. This one has multicolors on this strip, so I didn't piece anything together. It looks like it's already pieced together. I'm not going to sew down this edge or this because that will get sewn when it gets sewn to the page. I just need to do the top and that side. And these are just scraps of scrapbook paper, these little strips that I'm sewing on. I think that switching to the plastic bobbin is what I needed to do because this bobbin is getting low. It is bouncing around a little bit, but the stitches are still fine. So I think maybe using the metal bobbin was what was causing my problems. So that was an easy fix. one. I don't want to cover up those gorgeous little girls. I'll put it up here. This one is for a place called Vincent's in Berwick, Pennsylvania. I don't know what Vincent's was. I'll sew this pocket on and then I'll move on to another embellishment that I want to do in this journal, these journals. There's that little pocket. Oh, I'm not done. I am not done. I have one more thing I need to do. Because there's a hole in the corner. So I have these little 
miniature tags and I just dropped a couple in my waste basket. Um, I have some little tags that are copy dyed and some that are not. And I got out my uh, Tim Holtz Field Notes stamps because they have a lot of number stamps. So I just stamped a variety of numbers on different shapes of tags. So I'm just going to take one of these that's been copy dyed. The strings are still attached and they're copy dyed. So I'm going to see if it will be too long if I just put it on as it is. Uh, I think I like it like that. If I change my mind, I can shorten the string. So that just adds a little embellishment to it. Oh, excuse my phone. More spam. Okay, so now that one's done. And now I'm going to use one of the um, ones that are not copy dyed for this one. I think somebody must have sent me these tags and, and this was in the package so I think they came with it. I just have to find the end of the string. I see an end but I don't know how to access it. Okay. doing the wrong kind of tie. I don't know knots. Oh, it works. So there's that one. Just something fun to add. So I have four more pockets to make, but before I get into that, while you're still watching, I brought over some pages that are just half pages that are going to be included in the book. I've got the copy dyed ones. Let me grab a couple of the non copy dyed ones. I'm adjusting my I have a floor lamp and a desk lamp in here. Okay, where are the other pages? Oh, I brought the whole signatures over so all the other pages are right in here. Where's my half page? There's one. So this is very simple. All I'm going to do is sew some fabric squares or something onto these half pages. Just little pieces. Just for fun. That's what it all is. Just for fun. This is part of a little vintage doll's dress. And I love, love the colors. That blue struck me, so I'm looking for something blue, I guess. So I've got these little pinked pieces that were part of a charm pack that I bought at a quilt store and I think they might be about the right size for what I want. That's all I want to do is sew a couple pieces of fabric on so it won't be won't have a function it'll just be a decoration and then you can write on the back but you would have to write in between the stitches. I 
I like these pieces, so let's just sew these on. I'll do the zigzag, and I will shorten my stitches. He's got a little crooked. I spent the weekend cleaning my craft room. I did some sorting and a little bit of purging, especially of the fabrics. I've got some fabric that when I get a chance to, I will put in my shop as a de-stash. So, yeah, I finished yesterday and vacuumed in here and it looks looks so nice and I was so excited to work in here today but I had to go to work first. So I went to the flea market and then I went to the post office to mail all of the um, Stash Buster journals and then I had to go to work for a few hours. And then I got groceries, just a few. Came home, ate lunch, and now I get to play in my craft room. And it's almost 3.30 now. So you could write within those squares, but it makes just makes for a pretty decorative look. I don't know what I'll do to that side. So I'm going to do, that one's a little page. That'll have to have little tiny pieces on it. See what I can find for this one. I like that bright yellow on that coffee dyed paper. Some more hearts. do that four more times, twice for each journal. But I don't want you to watch me do repetitive stuff over and over, so let's find something else we can do for these journals. I believe this was right here. The other signature, the coffee dyed signatures aren't collated yet. So let's just concentrate on this signature. I always like to put 
some lace trim on one of the front edges but I don't think I'll put it on this because of that pocket so I'm going to put it here I'm going to find some lace really pretty. That one's really pretty. I want it I want white ones for this journal. Those are new from Hobby Lobby. I mean they're not vintage. So let me see what I have in vintage. Oh I have this gorgeous trim. I might have to find a place to use that. That one is pretty, but they're not edge ones. I need something for an edge. Oh, this one's cute with the hearts. Well, I guess I'll just go with the Hobby Lobby ones on the edge. And I'll find another use for these. I used this in my writing journal that I just made. So pretty. I'll have to get some more. Last time I was at Hobby Lobby, I've been there twice since the quarantine lifted. And um, the first time I bought this it was half price. And then I went with my son and my daughter in law. and. Um, they had no lace half price. Usually it's either the ones by the spool or the ones by the yard, but they didn't have anything good on sale when I was there with my son. Well, they did have and anything marked Paper Studio was half off. So I, the only thing I bought was a pack of white cardstock because I was running low on white cardstock. I'm going to sew it again so that it's not so flappy. I'm going to sew it closer to the edge of the paper. Okay, there's that. Since I'm at my sewing machine, I want to do the things that I have to sew in here, like perhaps a fabric flip. It doesn't stick out very far. I think I sewed it back onto the page more than I normally do. Let's put a fabric flip on this side. I'm not sure what I'm going to do to the backs of the signatures yet. I could sew the large cards on the back as a pocket and then just make a tag to put in there. I think that's what I'll do. Since we have an image on the front, I don't need to put another image in there. 
I'll just make a tag. So I can sew these larger cards. Got four choices for the three back covers. I'll definitely use this one, it's so cute. And I'll sew it on so that a tag can go in there. on it. Got this blue ruffle that's already made. I don't want to cut that white space off yet because I would cut off the drawing thread and I might need it. So I just won't sew that part down so I can cut it off. But first, I'll just sew this part on. Since these are printed on cardstock, I can use them as pockets. They're sturdy enough. I'm going to run out of thread pretty soon, so I can't keep this video going very long. be too bulky. I like the color. I'm going to try a seam binding. Got this pretty blue seam binding. Now, I want to do a little more embellishing on that, so let's figure something out. I was thinking button, or maybe I can cut one of these little hearts off and glue it on, or sew it on, or both, and get some buttons. Lots of buttons. 
I've got my blue and purple jar. I've got some old white ones and old mixed ones. There's little bits of blue in there. I think I like it with the button. I think just one button. floss right here. I'm not even going to put it on the needle today. If I'm doing multiple buttons, I'll put it on a needle and make it go through faster, but these holes are plenty big enough. I should just be able to put the floss through there. So it bunched up a little, but we straightened it out. Just tie a knot. And cut the threads. And it's ready to be glued on. I'll probably find some stamps to use in these books. I don't know what other kinds of embellishments I'll do. I have these embossed cards that I made. They kind of look like cabinet cards. They're nice and thick because there's three, actually four layers if you count the photo, the picture inside. So it makes them sturdy. And I've got all these. I don't I probably won't use all of them in the journal. But I will need some more pockets. I think my crafting time is going to be in shorter supply this week than normal. I have an appointment. See, I work today. I have an appointment tomorrow. I'm watching grandkids two days after that, and then I work the day after that. But I will make some crafting time in there also. I love the way that looks. I just love that image. I might do some stenciling on the white. This is just a, a white page for writing on instead of being copy dyed. Um, I just had these four white pages folded, so I don't know where they came from. I must have had them prepped for another project and didn't use them, which is where a lot of the, the pages for the books, they were already folded, so I must have had them ready to use in a different book, and the colors worked with what I was doing, so went with it. So I don't know what I'm going to do on that one. There's a vintage card in there. I think I should put a pocket or an envelope or something on that page to hold one of my tags. My air conditioner is coming on. That's probably, you're probably hearing that. Um, I might make a vellum pocket to go here. And the vellum is in the other room, so I'm not going to go get that right now. 
That's an idea for that page. Um, what about something for one of these? here. I just grabbed a handful out of the drawer. I don't want anything that's too decorative on the back because I want to glue it down. So I have these vintage ones that came with little note cards. It might be a little too short. That one would work. going to ink around them. It's already vintage looking. have these. So I could, I don't want to glue over that because it's got the names on it, the writing on it, but I could have it clipped to the side of a page. Alright, do I want to add an embellishment here? little butterflies. My glue is leaking. It's erupting. That's cute. So if I make a vellum pocket and then clip this to one of the pages, um, that could be enough stuff on one signature. And then I'll do some stenciling and stamping. Maybe put a fabric cluster and add some things to journal on on those pages, maybe. this page. Okay, so that's 40 minutes. Um, my videos have been shorter lately, but that's okay. I hope you don't mind. And I think that's, that's all I'm going to do on this video. I've got some work to do to catch up. This, this signature is you know, pretty well designed, so I just have to do the rest, do the same thing on the rest of the signatures before I go in and do some stenciling and stamping and things like that. Um, I might add another trim, lace trim, maybe on this page. So that way there would be some in the front of the signature, piece in the back, 
and then, oh no, yeah, in the center of the signature, and then there would be another piece at the front of this signature, so it's close to this back. So that's how I um, make it kind of even throughout. One in the middle, one in the front, one in the middle on each signature. All right, that's enough. I am going to um, stop the video and get it uploaded for Wednesday. I try to do the crafty, show the crafty videos, just so you know. I sh try to show crafty videos on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then if I have other things like flea market hauls or things that I'm putting in my shop, um, I do them on Tuesday and Thursday and maybe on the weekend. So that's how I try to do it, no guarantees. And uh, if I don't have anything like that to show, I just don't have Tuesday, Thursday, or Saturday videos. So, um, okay, um, I'll be back again, and thank you for watching. I hope you like progress on this so far, and um, I can't wait to see how they turn out. Bye.